Sorry about the technical difficulties, folks. Please welcome Mr. Tony Tran, CEO and Chief Architect of Alpha, Alpha Enzo, to share the blockchain's last mile, the importance of peer-to-peer -peer intersection. Hello, everybody. Thank you. I'm so especially honored and excited to be here today. And furthermore, I'm more excited to be here in my home country of Vietnamese and very proud. Today, I'll be covering a topic that I call the last mile. It's an oft-overlooked topic, but it is an especially critical one, given the state of blockchain as it is today. The last mile is a phrase which telecommunication and internet networks have used to express the final pieces needed to deliver services to the retail end users. Now, when blockchain was created, this is what it looked like. It was to be a game changer, a global game changer. It was to affect and impact the entire world times and times over. But that's not what we have. And the reason for that is because we've forgotten the user. But instead, this is what we've got. This is blockchain technology without user experience. If you were to get into this cart, would you be happy to get into it? No. Would this picture create the world that we know of today, the transportation world, the logistics world? Absolutely not. So let's channel the man that made it all possible. Henry Ford said that if he had asked people what they wanted, they would have said, faster horses. And you know, obviously, he was considering not only giving people what they needed, not what they want. And today, most of the projects that I see out there, people are building faster horses. What's the deal with that? The hype is over. If you look around you, blockchain is at the precipice of a very, very bad downfall. And in order for us to take it to the next step, we have to consider the user. If we take a look at where things are today, in contrast to the Gartner hype cycle, this is where we are, 2018. We were at the end of 2017 at the peak of inflated expectations. It was so easy. I mean, Banana Coin raised $13 million. Banana Coin, come on. You know, people were putting things on the blockchain, calling it something great without even considering the impact or what the technology can actually deliver. And it siphoned so much of the world's global value. Today, we are towards the end of 2018, and it's very clear that we're going through the trough of disillusionment. And in order for us to move forward into the slope of enlightenment, we have to practice, we have to create better experiences, because applications have not proven themselves. There has not been a single impactful blockchain to date outside of Ethereum that has really changed the world. So today, let's call on yet another person, Steve Jobs, who once asked everybody to channel other people who have been the greatest thinkers of humanity to think different, to think about things in a different way, to take a different angle. And this, this is actually the main purpose of what blockchain can deliver and how it can create better and greater social impact for the world. And so at Alpha Enzo, this is what we're working on. We are challenging ourselves each and every single day to come up with a better way to deliver blockchain. We're not going to, to just take a fiat business like a Facebook or a Twitter and put it on the blockchain. That's just not the way. You cannot do that because you're going to fail. That's just not following the precise mechanics of how to build a tech business. And so that's why I want to share the solution that we built is a single unified solution that connects when and where activities occur. You see, we've realized that the blockchain can be used to lock the past, present, and future. And on top of that, the block height can be used to represent location. And so using our technology, we can deliver an experience that is truly exciting. I won't share too much about the experience just yet, but Later on, if you want to uh, stop by outside and speak with me, I'll show you what it looks like. A truly powerful 
and potentially globally impacting experience. If we look at all of the existing businesses that have come to pass, the largest, biggest, most powerful businesses were ones that have considered user experience. Social connectivity was what Facebook championed. They ignored the content of the past and decided to prioritize relationships and connected profiles. They became huge. Apple created the mouse and the touch interfaces, the capacitative interfaces, and that became huge. Microsoft was all about software, putting a PC on everybody's desk. Google, the search bar, allowed us to browse the internet with speed and efficiency. And shopping, Amazon. So all of these different companies have come together and built. And it's all about starting at the very narrow, the narrowest part of the spectrum, which is the user experience. And so taking what we've got, we've created something called the Samaritan Protocol. And we believe that it's going to address these major buckets towards global sustainability and global impact. And there's a lot more about the project, but I'll share uh, that later. But now I'd like to share a video with you in terms of if we were to look at user experience and how we would put that on the blockchain, this is the kind of world that we're going to see come to fruition. And this is the kind of world that I want to live in, that I would want my children, that I would want my grandchildren to live in. Please play, play the video. Good evening, madam. What are my friends up to? Here's a memory from five years ago. This looks fun. Would you like to go back? Creating an event from this memory. OK, post it to the future. Now, that was just a primer. That was just a clip of what's to come. Now, wasn't that exciting? Wasn't that cool? Wouldn't we want to live in a world like that? Well, the best part is we've actually built that experience at Alpha Enzo. I actually have it right here on my phone. And in the back, I have a demo where you can experience the future today. Thank you very much.